Right, let's get stuck into this then. So we'll use this 440 as an example. We've got 440 yeah. on the side of the bonnet. Yeah. Is that max power, rated power, what's that? 435, the, the, the HUD number is rounded. 435 is it, it runs a flat power curve. So right. 435 rated, 435 peak. And oh, across reason, the board? Across the board, right. just a straight line. No boost, full time, peak, full time power. Yeah. Uh, the reason for the flat power curve, it's a CVT only, and we can optimize the engine to transmission relationship to get the best efficiency working along that flat power curve. Right. There you go. So let's go kind of front to back then. Let's have a look around this front end because you've got some <coughs> trick suspension going on here. So uh, one of the major developments of the program was the front axle suspension. Yeah. It's uh, in-house. It's, uh, it's built in our own factory. So it's a completely new independent front suspension, double wishbone, uh, very high carrying capacity. 10,500 10, kgs. Right. Well, why uh, go for this rather than your, you know your traditional sort of? Again, it's really we wanted to uh, when we get to the transmission, you you realise we've increased the speed of the vehicle. Right. So it was part of this uh, mission profile for transport. You had to have yeah. this basically. Yeah. 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 Right. And what are some of the features in the braking wise and suspension wise? I mean, the control of the suspension to start with, we have the the fancy tricks, the anti roll. So when you're going around a corner, it tries to keep the tractor upright. Oh, keep it stable, It's yeah. got uh, anti-dive, so when you brake, it pushes the nose upwards and anti-pitch. Uh, so it's got all the, the, the bells and whistles when it comes to uh, control. Yeah. Um, sticking with the you know requirements for, requirements for a transport tractor, braking is, is critical. Yeah. So we've increased the braking capacity of this tractor. The front brakes traditionally would be in the outer in, hubs. In the hubs here, yeah. right. So we've moved those inboard. They are in their own transmission casing in the center of the tractor, completely right. immersed in oil. So they're cooled using the same oil that's in the back of the tractor. Yeah. We have an electric scavenge pump pumping the oil around to keep the right. front brakes cool. Why go for that sort of what appears to be a complex design? Why not have uh, braking, outboard disc brakes uh, and in fresh air? And Because we're running, running them in, inboard oil cooled. We can put a lot more energy through them. Yeah. So this has got twice the braking energy capability as uh, as the the other optum models with, right. their, with their conventional axle so she can go and she can stop yes speaking yeah. of going what's your top speed on this now top speed on this is 66 kph all yeah. right you've yeah. fairly yeah. upped it then we this is why you needed yes, this yes. right <laughs>